Unlimited fan, Big Dave coming back at you with another Motivational Monday. Check this out. Ryan and I have a great series, five videos that are coming at you that are really going to help you life hack, right? Life hack every aspect of the five pillars, right, of life that we have out on the website, right? So if you go to www.upna.net, you'll see we have a whole life concept and each category of that whole life concept, we're gonna life hack. We're gonna help you like really achieve your utmost best. So really quick, the five aspects of life, the five pillars, uh, we have health, we have career, we have financial, we have social, and we have spiritual, okay? So all five of those, we're gonna give you three tips to hack each one of those pillars, each one of those sections. And I tell you, um, we spent some time on this and I think it's really, really, really gonna help a lot of people. So I'm super excited about it. And then to kind of uh, summarize all of it, we're gonna do a free seminar at the end of the five weeks for everyone, for absolutely everyone. It's gonna be a Zoom session and we're gonna talk about those five uh, categories, those five pillars, and then we're going to go into depth, right? We're going to go into depth, and then we're going to have a big Q&A uh, portion of the Zoom session. So today, we're going to talk about the health aspect of it, all right? I'm going to give you three things to hack your health. What do I mean by that? You implement these three things, and you're going to be so much better. Before we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, go out to the, to the uh, website, sign up for any of the products that we have out there, and boom, here we go. So the first thing in the health pillar that we're gonna talk about is cutting sugar and alcohol, all right? Uh, and when I say cut, you don't have to completely cut it out, but you wanna decrease it, all right? The truth is sugar's bad for you, alcohol's bad for you, but we all consume sugar and a lot of us consume alcohol. So recognizing the fact that we consume these things and recognizing that we can decrease the amount of sugar alcohol that we're consuming is extremely important. So what I want you to do is uh, recognize how much sugar or how much alcohol you're consuming and just cut it by 50%. That's it. And it's not just the drinks, but what I want you to really focus on are the, the drinks, all right? So what you're putting in your mouth to drink, like coffee, if you put a lot of sugar in your coffee, like I put caramel syrup in my coffee, absolutely horrible, but this is the only sugar that I consume. So no sports drinks, no, um, I shouldn't say consume, the only sugar that I consume in a beverage. Uh, I don't really do soda a lot. If I do soda, I'll have a sip of it, but, uh, and, and I can't even finish a whole can of soda anymore. And I used to drink a whole can of soda, at least one can every day. So <clears throat> boom, that's the first one. Cut the sugar, cut the alcohol, right? Not completely. If you can completely, great, but cut it down and you're going to see a substantial improvement in your health, guaranteed. All right, guys, so the second thing in the health category is to set a goal to work out, all right? So everyone doesn't like to work out. I know people that absolutely despise working out. However, it's important for your body to have some sort of exercise. So what I want you to do is increase the level of exercise that you have right now. All that means is if you don't work out at all, do a little bit of something. If you do work out, say three times a week, you do 20 minutes of cardio, increase that to 30 minutes of cardio three times a week, all right? If you're not doing any muscle exercises, right? Incorporate some weight training or some calisthenics. So a couple ideas are, if you say for instance are already slightly active, Incorporate 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups every morning, right? So every morning you get up, <clears throat> I'm gonna do 50. Okay, not 50 in a row, right? Do 10, do sit-ups, do 10 push-ups, then 10 sit-ups, something like that. Or just go, okay, I have the goal throughout the day, I'm gonna do 50 push-ups at some point of the day. You get up in the morning, you do your 25, you do your 20, later on in the day you do 20 more, later on in the day you do 10, whatever, however you wanna break it up, 
It's important to get cardiovascular exercise as well as muscle endurance exercise, all right? So just set a, a goal to increase the level of exercise that you already have. That's all, that's all, that's important. Cardiovascular exercising, 20 minutes at least, sustained elevated heart rate, okay? So that means a brisk walk. If you want to go for a walk instead of the gym, go for a brisk walk, not a stroll, right? A brisk walk. Um, maybe take in some nature. Uh, find a good hiking trail up in the mountains if you're close to a mountain or along the seaside and just do it and make it a part of your day. Make it a part of your week. Make it a habit, okay? And the other thing is uh, muscle endurance exercises. So if you're not a gym rat, if you don't like big muscles, that's okay. You don't need to, but it's still important to have some muscle strength, especially as you're getting older. Uh, but just set the goal, set the number, stick to it. And this is daily, guys. This is every day. This is a life hack, life hack for your daily routine, okay? So I don't want you to do it three days a week, two days a week, something like that. I want you to do something every single day. So all of these life hacks, every single day you're doing it. Boom, 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 boom. And then it becomes a habit and uh, you start to enjoy it, right? All right, fam, so the last thing we're gonna do this week is we're gonna incorporate green stuff in our meals, okay? So I want you to eat at least one cup of something green, some vegetables, uh, we'll say broccoli or um, a good salad, right? Every day, every single day this week, I want you to incorporate, and it can be any time, you can eat it uh, as a snack. If you want to not eat it during dinner, right? Eat it as a snack during the during the day. But just one cup of greens at least every day this week. And make sure that you don't load on the dressing, okay? If you're gonna use dressing, maybe a little bit of balsamic vinegar or something like that, some vinaigrette, but not a lot of heavy dressing, okay? Something nice and light. If you wanna use dressing, oh, just a little tiny bit of dressing, but you want to keep the calories down and you want the ultimate benefit from that green stuff, whatever it is. All right. I, I hope those three life hacks for your health help. I hope that you find them useful and beneficial. Let me know down in the comments if you like them or not. Also, Ryan, my business partner, is going to have the same thing in Greek, right? He's gonna do the same video with the same life hacks in Greek for all of my Greek friends out there that aren't 100% uh, fluent in English. Uh, we're gonna have this in Greek as well as English. So, uh, I hope it helps. Happy Monday, have a great week, and incorporate this stuff now. Okay.